Okay, um, good morning guys. Um, so today um, we're going to basically learn one new skill and then use that in relation to the, to the stuff we were doing yesterday, okay? So yesterday I ran into the problem that I could not make the width of a column in Google Sheets um, wider. It, it was fixed. So I've, I've since discovered how, how to do that. So I suppose that's the main skill we'll be looking at today. So in order to do that, what we do is we, we, we hold down the column that we want, and then you get some options. So you go to the top of the column. So for example, um, in the middle of my screen, there's the letter E. So that's the column E. So if I hold down the column E, that E at the top, I then have some options. I have cut, copy, paste, paste special, insert one left, insert one right, create, delete column, clear column, hide column. And the one we want is resize column. And we want to resize it as... Um, so it's currently 100 pixels wide. We want to make that maybe twice as wide. So let's go for 200. Okay. And that's that's the easiest way to do it. Now, if you're on a if you're on a laptop, if you're fortunate enough to have a laptop, you should be able to use your mouse. You click on it, and you should get the just like in Excel, you should get the options to make your column wider. Um, so that is how to make a column a bit wider. So we can now start labeling things in our um, little program to calculate taxes. So let's just go back to column A and let's make column A a little bit wider. So let's resize column and we want to make it, um, let's say we want to make it maybe 250, oh, sorry, 250. So we want to make it 250 wide and we go, oh, okay. So I can now put some headings in here. So initially, um, we have salary and then we have standard rate cutoff and then we have our standard rate uh, computers are too smart aren't they standard rate and then we have higher rate And then we have tax credits. Okay, and salary standard rates. Yeah, okay. So the salary is let's say the salary is going to be thirty thousand. Remember yesterday we were able to change that, so that was interesting to see the effect that that had. The standard rate cutoff is going to be twenty one thousand. Um, the standard rate is usually around 20%. And we're going to insert percentage there. That was quite useful yesterday as well. I like that feature. Higher rate is going to be 40%. And tax credits, let's give them um, 1650. Okay, so that's the basically the information that um, this, this fellow's accountant will be given. And... The accountant has to work out how much tax um, the guy has to pay. Okay, so let's head over to, um, should, let's do it down here. Okay, so let's call this the standard rate, standard rate um, tax, and enter. And underneath that, we will have the higher rate tax. Okay, and the standard rate tax is equal to this box here, okay, so it's the 21,000, but again, I only want to change these figures up here, I only want to change the 30,000, the 21,000, the 20%, the 40%, and the 1650, I don't want to change them in every single cell that they appear in, so to do that, I put in an equals, equals, and I want it to be this box here, so I want it to be B2, so I hit enter. Now, in here, in C9, I'm going to put in, um, we might make C a little bit wider, um, resize column. Let's make it, um, let's make it one, one, five, zero wide. Okay, so we now have a nice wide box there. And we're gonna call it um, rate, tax rate.
and the tax rate for that guy is up here so it's equal equal to that box there okay and then we're going to put in um i don't know what we put in there maybe totals tattles totals enter okay and this box here that will be equal to this box multiplied by this box enter Are we okay with that? So let's just take a look at the formula that I used for that again. It was B9 multiplied by C9. So I found 20% of 21,000. So every single cent that this man earns up to 21,000 is going to be taxed at 20%. Let's do the same for the higher rate. So every single cent that this person earns above 21,000 will be taxed at 40%. So we need to work out how much money will be taxed at the higher rate. So how much money does, does this person earn above 21,000? So it's going to equal it equals this guy minus this guy. Enter. Okay, and that's as we expected. It would be 9,000. So 30,000 minus 21,000 is 9,000. So we got Google Sheets to do that sum for us. And the tax rate for this guy, he's equal to... to this guy here. Okay, so that's quite nice. And then to get what goes into this column here for the totals, we're going to multiply b10 by c10 so that's equal to b10 by c10 and it, google kind of is so smart it kind of prompts us to do that so you can click on that prompt and it will do it for you automatically so 40 percent of 9000 is 3600 so the amount of tax that this person has to pay um is going to be the standard rate of tax added on to the higher rate of tax so we can do this here, and we would call this thing here the gross tax. Okay, so this person's gross tax is equal to, let's use the sum function, S-U-M, um, start bracket, and we first thing we want to sum is this guy comma with um that guy it must be sorry i'm so used to um you being able to see a mouse pointer when i'm clicking on things so we want to sum together those two totals and that will give us the total tax or the the, the big the big tax that the person could end up paying Okay, so that basically I've added the 4,200 onto the 3,600 to get the 7,800. And I've used, in order to get that 7,800, I've used the sum function. Right, now, that's the gross tax. Now, we don't actually, he won't actually pay all of that because he has some tax credits. Specifically his tax credits, so let's put in tax credits here again. His tax credits are equal, equal to 1650. That box there, or that cell there. So if I click enter, we put in the 1650. Again, the only place I've actually put information in is in B1 to 5. So all, all of these um, figures that I'm doing down here from B from B9 down as far as D12, they are all live figures that depend on the figures up in B1 to 5. 
So let's call it now his um, net tax. So this is the tax he will actually end up paying. Okay, so his net tax is the tax he will actually end up paying. And his net tax is going to equal um, this guy minus this guy here. So it's D11 minus D12 because his tax credits reduce the amount of tax he could end up paying. So we're not going to um, add on his tax credits because that would increase the amount of tax he has to pay. We're going to reduce his tax credits by 165. We're going to reduce his tax by 1650. And that brings his net tax down to 6150. So we have worked out this guy's tax, which is kind of cool. Okay, so at the moment he's paying 6150. And that was all kind of nice because Excel did all the adding and multiplying and dividing and all the percentages for us, right? But the beauty of spreadsheets is that we can update our salary. So let's say his boss gives him an extra thousand euro, a Christmas bonus or something, a one thousand euro. So he's going to go from thirty thousand up as far as thirty one thousand per year. So his tax he was going to pay was 6150. If I hit enter here now, we now see that he's not going he's now going to pay 6550. So he was paying 6150, he's now paying 6550. So that's and that's a really powerful thing to be able to do. And this isn't this isn't just for this person. So we could now use this on anyone who's earning. If so every year at the budget, they change the percentage of taxes. They change what a standard rate cutoff is and they change what a person's tax credits are. And every year a person's salary might fluctuate slightly. So it might go up every year or if the person isn't doing a very good job, it might go down every year. OK, so that is um, that's how we work out a person's tax. But I suppose the big learning. So you saw all those formulas being used yesterday, but the big learning today was how to resize a column. So I could make that column there a little bit smaller. So it's currently, it's currently 250. Let's knock it back down to 200, see what happens. That's a bit better again, isn't it? I like that now. And maybe C, that's a bit too wide again. So I click the top of C, resize column, and let's bring it down to, let's go back to 100. How's that? Lovely. Okay, so this person's net tax is 6550. Um, we might start adding some colour into this now tomorrow. So if you guys can follow that along, um, that would be brilliant. So when we go back in to the school in, in a fortnight or so, you should be able to fly through these type of questions. Um, so have a go with that, guys, anyway, and um, I'll see you again tomorrow.